everyone, Max here. Portable air conditioners have become more popular by the day, especially with significant advancements in technology. These cooling systems have become more efficient and more convenient for users. In our situation, we're traveling around Australia in our camper van. Now the van is set up to be off grid, so we don't have to rely on powered campsites for power. The reason why we didn't install an air conditioner when we initially built the van was because most air conditioners are very power hungry and they rely on mains power or power to campsite to run. Here in Australia, it gets very hot and very humid. And when it's hot, it can be very uncomfortable, especially when you're living in a van. So being able to beat the heat and staying cool in summer is definitely a big win for us. So one of the biggest advantages of the EcoFlow Wave is its portability. Now this thing can be taken literally anywhere. And it's designed mainly for camper vans, caravans. Um, you can have it in a boat. You can use it in a tent, a rooftop tent. It can even cool down a small room. Today, we are gonna unbox, install and review the EcoFlow Wave together with the add-on battery. So what do you get inside the box? You have the portable EcoFlow wave unit, the add-on battery, two expandable ducts, two vent shrouds, drainage hose, AC power cable, and a manual for the add-on battery and also the unit. So to mount your unit on the battery pack, make sure it's on the right way. You place it on top, and then it's real simple. You just slide it until it clicks, and that's it. That's connected to the uh, add-on battery. And then to take the unit back off the add-on battery, you just pull down this latch, pull it back, real simple, and then just lift it off. How do you charge the add-on battery? Plug in the add-on battery plug into the wave, then grab your AC power cable and plug it into a 240 volt wall socket. In our situation, because we're traveling in the van, we need to run our 2000 watt inverter. So our inverter is turned on, we're plugged in. Now we just turn on the switch and then you'll hear the wave start making some noises. And then you've got these battery level indicators here on the add-on battery. And they've got four different lights and they just correspond to 25% charge, 50% charge, 75% charge. And if all four lights are on, that's 100% charge. So when charging off AC power, our monitor is showing that it's pulling 32. 7 amps, which is actually not too bad, considering our toaster pulls about between 50 to 60 and our coffee machine fluctuates at around about 150 amps. It's not too bad. Now it pulls 600 watts of power and it should, to get full charge from a flat battery, it should take roughly about two hours uh, if you're charging off AC power. If you're charging off DC power off the car charger, it takes about six hours to fully charge the battery. So there are a couple of ways you can power the EcoFlow Wave portable aircon. If you don't have the add-on battery, you simply just plug the plug into the wall and turn it on and it will power. Otherwise, another way you can power the unit is if you have the Delta Series portable power stations, you can run it off that. Now, if you've got the add-on battery, you'll need to charge that add-on battery to make it work. And there's three ways you can do this. First of all, you can charge the add-on battery with 240 power and just plug it into the wall. Second of all, you can charge it with a cigarette lighter in your car and that's off 12 volt. 
That cable, however, comes separately, so you will have to purchase that if you want to do it that way. And finally, the third way to charge this is with 200 watts of portable solar. Um, that's also sold separately, but that's another way you can charge the add-on battery. First, you want to grab your shroud and connect it to the back of the unit. So it's real cool because this actually goes over the, the handle. So you just got to connect the bottom in first, just find the slots and then line up the side slots. It'll click in and then at the top, that just clicks in, very simple. Then you just want to grab your extendable ducts and screw them in. They go in anti-clockwise. Two. The ducts extend out, so you can extend them out pretty far and then they can be directed to wherever you want the hot air to go out. Then the drain tube, you just lift up the plug here in the bottom corner and then you simply just plug it on and then that will just run outside. The hot air needs to be directed via the ducting through either a window or a door. In our case, we're just gonna direct it through our side window. I'm now going to demonstrate how we would set up the wave in our situation in our van and it's only going to be powered by the add-on battery. So before we turn the wave on we'll just talk through some of the buttons and the controls. Now there's four buttons located on the top. You have the on off button, timer button, temperature button and mode button and it also has this intuitive LED display wheel which changes the fan speed and also the temperature. So to turn the wave on, all you need to do is just long press this button located here on the battery. It will indicate a beep and then you'll see the LED display on the wheel turn on and you'll also hear the unit make a noise and start. With the wheel, you turn it clockwise and it will change the fan speed and this is indicated by the little LED displays on the left. As you turn it more clockwise, the fan will increase, anti-clockwise and it will decrease. Uh, well then we've got the temperature button. So if we press the temperature button, we can turn the wheel and change the desired temperature. And then we have the mode button and that will just change it from fan to aircon. Also, on the wheel here, we have how long we have left before the battery dies, and it says 2.2 hours. But obviously, as you turn up the fan or turn the temperature down, the runtime will change. At its coolest setting with the fan as high as it goes, it says we've got 1.7 hours remaining. That's also because it's only half charge, it's only at 50% charge. Another way to control the wave is via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and we'll go through that now. And also to turn the unit off, just long press the add-on battery until the lights go off. You can also operate the wave via the app and you can customize how it operates. So they've got a little QR code on the side here, so you can simply just scan that code and then download the app. So we're going to power the wave on, just short press the add-on battery, power the unit on. We are going to go into the EcoFlow app. We are then going to connect via Bluetooth the wave to the app. All right, so now we have full control of the wave with the app. So we can be laying in bed, sitting down outside. We can 
be anywhere and we can control the fan speed, the temperature, um, you know, put it in eco mode. Also, we can set the timer. So it's got like a, a dial on the app and that changes the temperature. So you go from 16 degrees all the way up to 30 degrees. And then it's also got the current temperature at the moment. It's 24 degrees inside the van. And then we also got a little slider here that sets the fan speed from low to high. Uh, you also got a timer, pretty straightforward. You can set it for 30 minutes. And then the longest you can set the timer for is eight hours. It's the middle of the day. We've just come back from the beach. It is hot outside and I've just sat inside the van and it's very hot inside the van. I've shut all the windows, no fans are on, and I've sat down for a second. It's actually really hot. But what we're gonna do is we are gonna test out the EcoFlow Wave. Now we're just gonna test it with the add-on battery so it's not gonna be plugged in. We're just gonna run it straight off the battery and we're gonna see if we can cool down our van. So the ambient temperature, it's saying inside the van is 28 degrees, 27 degrees. Now it's fully charged. We've got all four lights on, which indicates that it's, the battery is fully charged. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press temperature. There we go. And we're gonna pull that all the way down to the lowest it goes, which is 16 degrees. And then we are gonna go, uh, mode and we're going to turn the fan right up so it's it's cranked so there we go it's starting to kick in now starting to feel some cold air and then we'll see sit down and we'll see how long it takes, how long it takes to cool the inside of this van. I can already feel the cold air. Whoa. <laughs> it's actually like really strong. <laughs> I've had the EcoFlow Wave on now for easily one hour and a half. And I can tell you right now, it has significantly cooled down this van to the point where I think I'm gonna turn it off because it's too cold. Um, I could definitely put on a jumper right now. I went into the cab just before and even though it's got the sun reflectors on all three windows, it is so much hotter in there compared to this back side here of the van. So definitely without a doubt this thing works and not only does it work, it's very very efficient. So we've only used one bar, we've still got three bars left and that has been running solely off the uh, the portable add-on add-on battery so that hasn't even been plugged in so we haven't been using any of the van's uh, battery storage which is absolutely amazing so yeah you could take this thing anywhere we could take this in a tent um, we could take it you know like in a small room if someone's got a, a room with no air con and it's the middle of summer we could cool the room down it says here on the LED display that it's now down to 13 degrees and I reckon that's not far off because like I said, it's, it's very cold in here now. So yeah, this is an amazing bit of kit. Um, I think we're definitely gonna be using this when we start reaching up the northern parts of uh, Australia and even on like days where it's uh, gonna be hot. Um, it'll definitely come in handy and be good too because we work a lot in our van as well. Um, sometimes don't like being outside because of the glare on our laptops. So when we do work inside the van during the day, uh, it would be absolutely amazing to have something like this to cool us down during the day. So EcoFlow Wave, it's, yeah, for, for a tiny little portable aircon, it really, you know, I was a little bit skeptical, but it really does, it's just like an aircon sort of in a house. It's, it's so cold, this air that's coming out, it's crazy.